Hi guys. All right, I'm just sitting here prepping things. So yeah, I just thought I would, I'm slacking and I haven't sewn up the bag that we are doing for this retreat in uh, at the Garner Sewing Room this weekend. So I am doing it right now. Oh, my iPad's on. All right. I had to go change my pants. I was in jeans. I just, you know, jeans are great for going out and needing to look appropriate for things, but for sitting down and sewing, it's just not the best. So I put on my really comfy pants. <laughs> you guys won't see my pants anyway, so it just doesn't matter. All right, so I just need to prep the strap real quick, and then I'm sewing up the Adam handbag or the Adam crossbody bag. It's gonna be altered just a little differently for teaching purposes, for classroom purposes, uh, to make it just a little easier and doable for multiple people learning at once. So we're just gonna sit down and do this so I can teach this properly <laughs> this weekend. <sighs> All right, hi guys. Hello, hello. I'm just prepping my straps here. So one part that we changed is we're just doing side connectors and a strap connected to it instead of the, the original pattern has a double-sided strap going down and around the bag. It's really cute, but I just, just don't think, I just think it'll add too much to our time. So that's okay, because this is gonna look adorable as well. And yeah, let's do it. Hi Ellie, welcome. Hi Muriel, Barbara. Yay, hopefully you guys can just keep me company while I sew this up, right? It always goes quicker when I can talk to people. <laughs> uh, Shinova, I'm here for the comfy pants only. Yes. Isn't that one of the joys from working from your home, right? Comfy pants only. I don't know why I thought I could make it half the day in jeans. That was just silly of me. <laughs> that was just dumb. All right. Are you teaching this bag somewhere, Karen? I am teaching this weekend at the Garner Sewing Room in North Carolina. I am leaving tomorrow, flying to Midway, meeting my sister at Midway, and then we are flying the rest of the way to North Carolina. It's going to be a very long day, <laughs> like super long. And then I'm teaching Saturday and Sunday at the Garner Sewing Room. If you're in the area, I think there's a few spots still open. Did you eat lunch? Oh, Sarah, you know, I ate a late breakfast, so we're good. I had a breakfast burrito from Missy, so I think I won't get hangry. <laughs> I know everybody's concerned that I'll get hangry, right? I think I'll be okay. Jackie, I was just watching your latest tutorial. Thank you. I know, I I just put out a tutorial this morning, so I was weary about going live today, but I thought, eh, it's fine, right? It's fine. Seriously, I am all for webbing now for straps because regular straps are just so, you know, time consuming. <laughs> now that I'm used to just popping webbing on a bag, I'm like, ugh, why am I doing this? That's okay. It's going to be really cute double-sided like this though. Mm, I think oh, I forgot. We need to make this not have a raw edge. So we need to do that. That'll be fine. 
It's hot and miserable in St. Louis. Oh, Kathy, I'm sorry. We actually have somewhat of a nice day here. I think it's kind of hot though. I don't think it's cool by any means out there. I haven't really spent much time outside this morning. Good sure, Steve, you were just watching the tutorial. Yeah, I'm sure I interrupt. I interrupt your tutorial watching to go live, huh? Sorry. But that is the Yoshi sling that I just did. And it is such a cute pattern. You guys just need to go check that one out. I, I really do love it. All right, I'm just folding down these edges because I don't want that raw edge. Right, right. Aw, thank you. I love the pockets on the Yoshi. Yeah, she did a really good job designing that bag. It was super fun to make. The second I saw like a teaser of it, I was like, oh, I need to make that. And I did. All right. Hmm, that did not fold very well. Zoop and zoop. This probably, I feel a little stressed, like I need to go fast, but this probably won't go fast, guys. So I apologize in advance. Just folding my raw edges in. Hi, Dagmar. Kajersti, I think I have this pattern. Haven't done it yet. You should get it out. It is actually a really fun pattern to make. When she asked me to teach this uh, retreat, I think I had just made one of these and I was like, oh, let's do that one. Because um, I was still on the, the high of how much I, I loved it. <laughs> Which is what I tend to do. And yeah, it's really cute. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put another piece of tape on that. What is the width? Um, it's going to be three fourths inch strap total. I believe I didn't, <laughs> I didn't cut this kit. This is the kit that we're using that was prepared by Sandra from the Garner Sewing Room. And I'm just now sewing it together to make sure it's all good to go. Um, this is not adhering to my interfacing very well right here. Come on, stay down. Um, so what was I saying? I'm a little all over the place today, aren't I? Um, there we go. So yeah, so the, the connectors we're using for this are three fourths inch wide. They're super cute. We're going to connect it with these connectors here. So I'm just doing it directly to the connectors. I'm not even using swivel clips. So there's that. All right, now I need to do this one. Where's the pattern available? It is KM Designs. Yep, sorry, none of my admins, I don't think, are on right now to do links. I think they're kind of busy. Oh, there's Sandra from the Garner Sewing Room. That's where um, I'm teaching this pattern. This weekend, Sandra, are there still spots available for the classes? There's one Saturday and the other one is Sunday. And my sister and I have Saturday morning free to do a little sightseeing. So she's kind of like setting up our sightseeing schedule. <laughs> So we'll see what she has planned for us. Shh, 
Sherry, I finished cutting my first Guardian by Lens Handmade. I'll be making it as a diaper bag with a cleanup clutch. That'll be cute. I like that. That'll be awesome. Seriously, this is like my least favorite part right here, guys. I don't even think, I think I'll have people do this as the very last step because <laughs> only if we have time. Oh. Webbing, I'm telling you. Webbing is worth it. When are you doing the next sewing the states? So that will be on Monday. We are sewing with Aileen over there in North Carolina. We're going over to her house Monday morning and we will be sewing up a bag live with her. We're doing the, what are we doing? The, oh my gosh, the strap. Oh, we're doing the Mighty Messenger bag from Fierce Kitten Studios, which, <laughs> which I was supposed to try and make this week and I didn't get around to it. So that's okay. That's all right. I think it'll be just fine and we'll be able to do it. I'll read over the whole pattern before I get there. So I kind of know what I'm doing, but um, yeah, so super excited to meet Aileen. And so with her in her house, so awesome. We're gonna have fun. And then of course, for you Patreon people, we'll be doing behind the scenes videos for our trip. And then that'll be posted over on Patreon after the fact, that's always kind of fun. You just kind of see the travels of Susan and I and what we do off camera and like an interview with our Sewing the States people, it's kind of fun. <clears throat> Leslie, I know you're washing your puppy, you're good. <laughs> Annette, that's fine, drive safe. <laughs> we're good, we're good. I'm still making a strap. I need a longer, I need a longer table sometimes, especially when I do this. Seriously, guys, I am so over making straps. <laughs> I just want to use pre-made handles. All right, here we go. I already put this on. So this is a lot. Oh, was I supposed to sew them together? I was, right? I'm just like putting this together. I think I was supposed to, oh, to make this one continuous strap. Let's do that. What is the length you use for the crossbody? I'm not sure what the length is. We are going to connect these um, together and make this one continuous thing and fold it. No, you can't do that. This is a lot shorter for some reason. No, you can't do that with this actually, huh? Just kidding. All right. Unless, no, because these are two different sizes. All right, we'll just be cutting down the brown, I think. I really do not like the way that this is laying. I don't want that sticking out, you know? All right, so we're just gonna connect these down here. And then the pink one, the pink printed one, is just a tiny bit smaller to give it that accent. All right, I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sorry, there we go. 
Uh, my usual length for a crossbody is anywhere from mm, like 45 to 54, depending on the bag and how long I want it. That's usually the length I go with. Oh my goodness. I just pulled the tape completely off. I think it's the caffeine, guys. I'm a little like, ah! All right. There we go. Let's try that. And there. Totally worth it. Look how cute that is. <clears throat> I'm just complaining this morning about my life, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Uh, here we go. Um, Sandra, I was just saying the brown one is just way longer. So, which is totally fine. I'll just trim that down. But it's just a lot longer than the printed, which isn't a problem. That's what I was saying though. All right. Rather it be longer than shorter. All right. So we're just going to sew these two together. Hi, Crystal. Okay, just going down and there. And I'm using caramel um, thread, caramel color thread. I thought the brown would be pretty with all this pink and then it kind of matches the canvas as well. Here we go. So because this is cotton and I folded in my end, ends, I'm going to need to come across that end there. All right, to tack that down and then come back down the other way. And these materials aren't stretchy, so we should be good doing it this way. Jersey. I was making the Heartbreaker bag by K. Ascona. It was a request of my seven-year-old granddaughter. It was a challenge, but it turned out really nice. Yeah, those heart-shaped bags are, they're, they're a little tough. The shape on them is hard. Yeah. You just can't be too hard on yourself about it not being perfect, I think, for those heart-shaped ones. All righty. Do, do, do. Oh, you know what? My tension is off because I was sewing. Oh, and it's off on here. I'm like, hmm, that doesn't look right. I was sewing jelly, so I had to tighten it quite a bit. So let me see if that helps. Not jelly, clear vinyl, yeah. Let's see if that's better. What fabric am I using on the strap? It's like a cotton canvas and a waterproof canvas. Let me see if that's better for my tension.
Oh yeah, much better. Okay. Luckily, you can't really tell because it's brown on brown and it still looks great. Okay, so there's my strap. I'll be connecting that directly to my connectors for the bag with um, an adjustable slide. All right, put that aside. I next want to do the flat pieces. Which one is the flat? Those are the main body. Um, is this the flap? I think this is the flap. No, that's not the flap. I don't have my pieces labeled at all. Let's see here. I know this is the, I'm facing for the flap. Hmm. All right, that's the front and back, inside, outside. I think these two are, these are my flat pieces. Okay. So she has this piping. You guys know I'm not great at piping. <laughs> so I usually do the whole faux piping thing, but I'm going to try to do this and then put on my zipper foot as well. And we're gonna see how this goes. All right, all right, here we go. <clears throat> and I am curious, I think it is a 3 8 Okay, it's a 3 8 inch seam allowance, so it should take me right up to there if I follow that 3 8 seam allowance with my piping foot, but I think I can baste it. I can baste it on with my regular foot, which I'll do. So let's try this. And I think I'm just gonna clip as I go. Hi, Kenny. Oh, you guys, Kenny, Kenny Dion. Um, makes amazing seam ripper stiletto tools and pens. And him and I are doing a fun little collaboration that I'm gonna be showing you guys soon. I'm super excited about it. Super, super excited about it. All right. So, so there's three different um, kits that Sandra prepared for this class. And when you signed up, you were able to choose which um, materials, so which prints you wanted for the bag. And this leopard rose print is my favorite. I thought it was so pretty. So I'm glad that's the one she sent me. Mm, is my tension off now? What's going on? No, I don't think it is. Okay. Yes, it is. My bobbins. Not my friend. Oh, see? It's caught up here at the top. That's what it was. There we go. I'm like, it's pulling. It was caught at the top. There we are. off right there. There we 
go. All right, so there is There's my piping for that. And then I'm gonna to have to switch to my zipper foot. But before I do that, I think I need to put my snap. Have you done the Aries crossbody by knotted threads? Yes, I have. I have a tutorial on it too. There's a tutorial on my channel for that one. Um, where is, here it is. Piping is a bit of a pain, but it always looks good in the end. Yes, Annette, so true. All right, so we have a snap in here, a nice thin magnetic snap. We have rivets and our sliders. Ooh, I love the rainbow. Good choice. All right, let's do our snap placement. Huh. Uh -uh. Uh, no, it's on the pattern piece, and I don't have... The pattern piece. I don't have the pattern piece out. Um, so, ooh, we just, we might just guess on this. Yep, we might just guess on this placement. Here we go. Amanda, my little Bradley says hello and pretty. Oh, hi, Bradley. Hello. <clears throat> Is that the kit you're working from? Yes, this is the kit, Jadira. This is it. It's a great day when my kid finally has school and I get to catch a live to keep me company at work. Yeah, I think mostly everybody's back at school now, right? I know my kids are. Charlotte did not want to go to school today. She was not feeling good. I don't know if she just didn't want to go or she just really wasn't feeling good. Um, I'm going to guess on the placement here. It'll be fine. I didn't think about that. I should have gotten out the actual pattern pieces before I started this, but that's okay. Where is the kit from? This is the kit we'll be using at the Garner Sewing Room this weekend. It's not like a kit you can purchase online right now or anything like that, if that's what you're asking. This is just for the class I'm teaching. All right, let's put in the mail, maybe. Oh, these are really stuck together. Come on. Okay, let's put on our mail piece. Here. Jadira, I know, isn't that pretty, the fabric? I love it too. All right, and then I'm gonna cover that up. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's put these two together and then we'll slide this in after the fact. I may have to trim it down a tiny bit, we'll see. We shall see. And then I need to switch to my zipper foot as well. My zipper foot. I'm gonna move this out just a minute. All right, here. 
And nope, not that one. I have all these feet that I never use. I don't even know what some of these are for. <laughs> I really only use my walking foot and my zipper foot. Hi from Canada, welcome. The fabric will be available for retail September 15th. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, Sandra. So you can buy this um, print from the sewing room, Gardner Sewing Room, if you love it. September 15th, all right. Let's do this. Here we go, wish me luck. <clears throat> Here and here. Oh, it helps if you put the foot back down. I'm <laughs> like, whoa. All right, let's see what I did. <laughs> Barry, zipper foot. I know. I never get out my zipper foot. Uh, I think it looks okay. I'm going to get my pinking shears. Sandra, do you have pinking shears at your studio? That might be a good thing to have for these curves. I bet she does. All right, let's see how well I did with this um, zipper foot. Rosemarie, the fabric will be available to purchase. Yes, we already answered that, okay. Um, Ellie, I'm at work too. Catching this live is absolutely awesome. Oh, I'm glad. All right, here we go. Let's see if I did it, guys. I think I did. Except, mm, I don't like that. I can see, I can see the stitching on the piping. Was there a wrong and a right side to the piping? There might have been. I think I want to get a little bit closer. Mm. I mean, it looks okay. No, it looks cute. I think it's good. All right, let's get our corners out. Hi, hi Karina from Norway. Hi, Barry. All right, top stitch, here we go. Um, I need to change that. Well, actually, can I top stitch? Let me see, let me see a minute, give me a minute. Um, yeah, I think I need my walking foot back on. Um, I usually don't do true piping. I usually do just a strip of vinyl. So doing true piping is um, a little bit different for me too. 
because I can't get away with just using my walking foot for everything. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's do this. Oh, you know what? We need to fit our stabilizer in there first. Okay, so let's do that. I think I might need to cut it down just a little bit, but we'll see. Hmm, it might fit actually. I think we might be okay. I just need to trim the top down because you don't want all this extra in the top. So we're gonna trim this top down quite a bit. I can use that strip for something else. All right, now let's put that in there. Cheryl, no, Lisa, when you top stitch down, it may push over and cover those. Yeah, I think it'll be, I think it looks fine. I'll show you guys when I'm done. I think, I think it did okay. I know piping does just add such a cool touch to things. It's an extra step, but a lot of the times it's totally worth it. All right, my interfacing's in there. Let's top stitch. Back to my comfortable foot here. This keeps getting caught up there. So Susan's coming with me to this um, weekend bag making retreat and she's going to be making one of these too. So how about that? I'm excited for her. All right. So there is my flap. Let's look at it. Ooh good yep looks cute look how cute that piping is all right okay I like it I approve let's go what's next I'm not doing the piping and the strap along the the gusset of the bag or the pocket so let's go to the back pocket oh I wish these were labeled I may have to Mm hmm okay let's see here Let me get my pieces out here we have guessing that's the pocket trim no is it the same color sorry guys I should have went through and just labeled all these is our pocket trim the same color that's a bummer Okay, it must be. Okay, that, and then that doesn't make any sense. This is it. And then it's gonna go on to here. Sorry, I'm just looking to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, here we go. It's good I sat here and sewed one of these up, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Back pocket trim. I could always go back and watch my tutorial. <laughs> that might help. <laughs> 
Sandra, if you're still watching, I think this piece needs to be interfaced. I don't know if it's too late or not. Saya, I watched the Patreon video with the boom whackers and now own and perform with my grandchildren every day. Oh, that's awesome. Aren't those fun? Those are kind of the best. Yup. All right. You know what? Uh, I really feel like this needs to be interfaced. I'm going to go get a piece of um, woven real quick. Ooh, even better. I don't even have to use heat. I'm going to use my um, self-adhesive woven here and just cut out a piece real quick for this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Needs to be about right there. I don't need it up in that part. This is self adhesive woven from Fabric Therapy. Kind of love it. And I need non fabric scissors. Just a minute. Perfect. Ta-da. I gave some of this good stuff to my sister. I don't think she understands um, how good it is. <laughs> All right. Move it back in here. And you just peel it off, stick it on, and you're good to go. The nice thing is it just doesn't have to be perfect, right? It just has to be enough that and you do want to like just rub it on there good with something. I usually use my seam roller, but it's over at my other table. And that's it, guys. Let me just trim my little extras off. And I haven't found that the adhesive on this gets my needle sticky. Can any non-fabric scissors exist? Yes, in my room they do because I cut so many things. All right, I like that better. I like the feel of that better. I am happy. Here we go. So yeah, this back piece definitely needs some kind of interfacing on it. And then we're going to top stitch. Um, it's called, I'm not sure the exact name of the interfacing. It's from Fabric Therapy. It's self-adhesive woven. I'm not sure on the exact name though. All right, so I'm putting these two pieces together here. All right, use my full seam allowance on that one.
Hi, Julie. <clears throat> I want to move to the U.S. You have so many different things that's impossible to find in Norway. I know it. All right. And then I just want to top stitch those two pieces down. And that is my pocket for the back of the bag. That's cute. Ugh, why is it doing that? Just a minute. Mm, my bobbin's all crazy, see that? I could tell something was funky, and then I think I need to change my thread up top. It's pulling from the other one because I was loading a bobbin on it, and I think it's affecting... I think it's affecting how it's feeding through my machine. So just a minute. And fix that real quick. I think that'll be better. Let's try that. Therafuse self-adhesive woven interfacing. There it is. I knew it was a mouthful. And I never get it right. So many different names of so many different materials. Ay, ay, ay. I do like it, though. It's good stuff. All right. Let's start there. It's fine. Well, you know what? It's not. I'm going to unpick that real quick and just sew right over the same holes. I don't like the tension on it was kind of off and my bobbin is poking out the top. No, I'm going to unpick it. You can do that on vinyl. You can take out stitches, you just, you know, your holes aren't gonna go away, so you have to be sure that when you redo your stitching, it just goes over the same holes. And you only have about one or two chances, and then your material is shot. I need to use my new seam ripper tool, Kenny. It's over in my shipping area. I need to bring it in my sewing room. <clears throat> this thread does not want to come out. It's like, screw you. All right. I thought I had tweezers. Well, come on. All right, that's probably good. That'll be my seam allowance. Here we go. Let's try that again, guys. Much better. Okay, so there's my back pocket. And we wanna put that on the back main panel, which is this. Hmm, it's a little bit longer. I need to trim it down just a second. Let's trim her down. Hi, Oakley. There we go. Put that on the back. All right, 
I'm gonna baste this on, and then we will attach our flap onto this piece as well. Will the canvas be for retail after the event, Margaret? Yes, I think, I think so. Sandra had to go off for a minute, but I think it will be. I know the prints will be. my centers, top and bottom. I'm gonna put my flap, you want your flap with the wrong side facing up, all right. I'm going to clip because when it goes over, it'll go over like that, okay? So cute. All right, I'm gonna baste this on. All right, there's the back of my bag. All done, I'm gonna set that aside. We need to get the front and do our other part of the magnetic snap, which again, oh, it looks like there's pen or something on here. Um, I may have to just print off the pattern piece real quick because I don't know where it's at. Hey, Missy, yeah. I'm gonna send something to the printer real quick. Select a page, no, next page. What page is that? Yeah. Print. Let me know if it goes. All right, printing off the piece real quick. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's pen or something on my vinyl. Bummer. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Oh, look, never mind. She put it on the pieces and I didn't see it. Huh. Thank you, Sandra. I didn't see that. She already has our markings on there. Look at that. Okay. I wonder if it was on the flap and I didn't see it too. It probably was. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our snap. Cool. And then I'm gonna get a piece, this works perfectly, that little extra piece I cut off on the flap. I'm gonna use that for behind my snap. You definitely need something behind your snap. And we're not interfacing this vinyl. We'll see how this turns out. I just, I don't know yet. Hi, Brooke. Is that print going to be the main body of the bag for class or the pink? So um, the pink is the main body part, but the flap will be covering, the flap will be covering this main body piece and the pocket in the back is the print. So you're mainly gonna see the print on this bag, All right? I'm gonna cover that up and then I am going to put on my nameplate. Let me go grab one. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Oh, 
Oakley's laying right behind me. You guys want to see Oakers? This is what she does. Oakley, do you want to say hi to everybody? Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> she likes the cold floor. All right. That's my nameplate. Um, Brooke, if you signed up for the class, you should have gotten a notice to go on and order which kit you wanted. There's three different um, fabric combos to choose from. This is just one of them. There's two other ones that aren't crazy bright like this. So you need to go choose, if you haven't, which one you want. So you should be able to change it. You don't have to do this combo. We did like a floral one, a leopard print one, and like a geometric one so people would have options. Yeah. Hi, Amy. Hi, Julie. All right. Hi from South Africa. So happy to catch a live. Just finished the Ojima from Country Cow Designs. That's a good one. Now I can relax and watch Kasaya. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't put a backing under that, but I think it'll be okay because it's just my, my nameplate. We're not going to be like opening and closing my nameplate. So I think that'll be fine. Alrighty, so now we want to attach the gusset. So let's do it. Because our front body piece isn't going to have anything else. I'm not doing, um, ugh, I'm so bummed. There's like, there's pen on it. All right, here we go. I've got my centers. Let's mark our centers on here. And we are going to construct the exterior of this bag and then we'll go to the lining. Yay. Here we go. And I do think that this is one of the gussets that just went together so nicely. Use alcohol to remove. I tried my alcohol wipe and it didn't work. I'll have to try hairspray. It's like kind of all over. I hope Sandra knows that. It's, it looks like they used pen to outline the vinyl when they cut it out and it looks like it rubbed onto the vinyl. So <clears throat> hopefully we can get that off. Magic eraser or Dawn show. So, oh, okay. Thanks, sheeple. I will try that. Your blouse is cute. Thank you, Iris. Thank you very much. I spilled coffee all over it earlier. <laughs> down my armpit carrying coffee down to Missy. But it's fine. We can't see it. <laughs> All right, we wanna do clips here in the curve. This video will be great for the people that, that are taking the class. If they don't, for some reason, finish, they can go back to this video and kind of watch too is what I was hoping. So that'll be good. All right, let's do this. All right, perfect. Yeah, it just kind of fits on there so nicely. She did a good job with the measurements of this pattern. Like there's no struggle, no struggle bus getting that gusset on. Here we go. 
Debbie, perfect afternoon to watch you sew. Thank you. All right, and I will be doing two rows of stitching just so my stitches don't pull. And let me check my seam allowances. Okay, got the right seam allowance. Here we go. Hi, Marley May. Marley May just wandered in. Marley May is being a turd. She's been peeing in my basement on the carpet. I don't quite know why or what to do about that. Anybody have any suggestions? <laughs> oh, it's a good thing. I love her. The fabric is, she made this um, kit, so it was domestic machine friendly, yes. The vinyl's not interfaced. Everything is pretty light in the bag, so you shouldn't struggle on your domestic machine with this kit. That was the whole idea. I mean, I'm still sewing it up on my industrial right now just because that's what I have out and it's what I'm comfortable with. And I think actually at the sewing studio, she's got industrial machines now set up. So I'm excited about that. Maybe UTI. I don't think she does, Lisa. I think she's doing it because she's um, either just a turd or she's mad at me. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go right next to it, a little bit down, like an inch or two down, and do a second row of stitching. Hey, Sandra, um, there's pen markings on this vinyl. You might wanna look on the kits. It seems like the pen that was used to trace out the vinyl has rubbed off onto the right side of the vinyl. I have to try and get it off, but you may want to just check that over on the kits that you made to make sure there's not more like that. It's like a blue pen, I think. So there is my first part of the gusset. All done. Woo woo. Let's add the back. How did you get it off, Sandra? People are telling me Dawn soap or magic eraser. Alcohol wipe didn't work. How old is Marley May Lisa? She's three. I think she's been peeing down here for quite a while. And I've missed it. Luckily, it's really old carpet. We had the previous owners had animals down here. And so I know it was cats and I know I want to replace the carpet. But I'm waiting for other things to know if I'm going to replace it. Um... Yeah, so I don't know if she smells the other pets that were down here or she's just doing it to be a turd. I don't know. And it's hard for me to catch her when she does it. I know, I love the pink too, Diane. It's really cool in person. It's a really good pink. Okay, let's clip these corners and sew her up. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put my connectors on. Yep, I forgot to put my connectors on.
All right, I'm going to unclip these because it's going to be easier to do the markings and get it all placed. Yeah, we have a bell too, Julie, but it's upstairs and she hangs out all day with me downstairs. So I'm going to fresh get a bell down here too, maybe. I don't know. Missy and I have just noticed a few spots lately. All right, so this looks like, which way does it go? Like that. All right, and then I only have, there's only four screws in here, but there's eight screw holes. Am I only supposed to use two screws per connector? That doesn't seem right. I may go find four more screws. Yeah. All right, let's mark our centers on this. Let's go. center. I think it needs to be just a little bit higher. I'm going to go one and a half inches down. Hey, Missy. Yeah. Can you come here for a sec? Yeah. And then um, can you see if in all of those bags of screws, if I have any more like this, you can take it. See, I need four more. Okay. Yeah. All right. So one, there's my center right there. Okay. Perfect. That's my center. I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. So I'm going one and a half down and then just doing my center right there. Okay, and then this will go like that. So this will line up with the center here. Ooh, that's gonna be super close. I think I'm just making the markings. Did we have any? Mm -hmm. <gasps> have Yay! Big bag of oh, good. <laughs> Yay. Um, Sandra, I don't know if you're watching, but there was only four screws in here. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Just FYI, I'm going to put, I need eight. All right, so I am going to just mark and punch my holes, but I am not, I'm not going to put this on yet because it's super close to my seam and I don't want to have to fight with that, if that makes sense. So... Hmm, how am I going to do this? Just a minute. Okay, corner, 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 corner. Oop. Oop. Okay, there's my four markings. Io, any workshops on the East Coast that you will teach? Um, I do have one. Ooh, Susan could tell you. I have one coming up. Not Maryland, but... Ooh, where is it? Ah. It's back East somewhere next year, and I don't remember exactly... Where it's at, I will let you know.
Amy, I'm finally admitting that I'm a fabric hoarder. So I've committed myself to doing craft show and hopefully sell some things that I am now making. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I should have put this on first and then marked it. <laughs> now that I am realizing that, that's okay. I'm just going to put it like that, though. I'll have to redo those holes. That's okay. <clears throat> See, this is what happens when you're just putting together a kit and trying to figure out the best way to do this, right? <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out the easiest way to teach this class. So I'm going to redo my markings real quick. Right there. And then right here. Perfect. My hole punch. Yes, let's punch some holes. Fingers crossed. I think I'll punch this one first, make sure it fits before I do my other side. Okay, there's my holes, there's my connector. I may need to make the holes. I'm gonna have to make the holes bigger. That's right, because they have to completely fit through. So let's move up in hole punches here. Maybe there. go because you don't want it bigger you want it just about the same size you want it just a little smaller actually all right that should fit we're good do 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 okay I'm gonna go ahead and punch this other side and then we'll finish can I show you the strap anchor yeah so this is the strap anchor. It's really cute, but it's got four, four screws, which is not always the easiest to figure out because the washer looks like this. It doesn't have exact um, placement. So it's a little tricky, but we'll get it in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put my screws back in this bag real quick so I don't lose them. That'd be good. All right, we'll set those aside. I'm gonna punch the other side and then we'll finish sewing on our gusset. Beautiful. Hopefully that fits. All right. Now let's finish this and then I will install my connectors. Here we go. Again.
Okay. Oh, did I already cut? I didn't cut this side, so let's go ahead and do this side. And there we go. Sew this side on. Here we go. Sorry. Hello, Donatella. Welcome. And then I'm going to go one more time around just like I did on the other side just to reinforce my stitches. Here we go. I'm going to start down here a little bit though. right there just a minute Zoop. all right hello Brigitte welcome all right so we have our exterior done and I think do I turn it out? Just a minute. Let me see. Do we turn this out? Which way are we? Exterior. Wrong side out. Okay, so we're going to be putting it together this way. So I'm leaving it like this, but it's all sewn up. I am, ooh, I need to put this on though. Let's put on our connectors real quick. Thought I was almost done. Let's do our connectors. All right, fingers crossed that we did this correctly. And then we can get these through. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to put this in my lap, I think, to do it. I'm 
get one through first here. That's good. Let's work with this one. One in place and then the rest you can kind of adjust. Come on. Yep, good. There's one. There's two. Tighten them up all the way because I want to be able to adjust a little bit if I need to. All right. There and there. Well, I may give up on three because that last one, come on, there it goes. That last hole I didn't do very well, but three out of four screws will hold it. Maybe I can get it, just a minute. I think it's the interfacing that's in the way here. Sorry, you see what I'm working with here? My head might be in the way. I apologize. Oh, I think I'm gonna get it. All right, here we go. I may um, make a template for this, for the class. It might be, oh yeah, I totally did it. Yay! Might be easier if we had some sort of template with these holes already marked out. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so that is my connector all on there. It's really cute. It's a really cute connector. All right. Definitely, you know what I'm gonna use? I am gonna use this interfacing to cover. That probably will stay just a little bit easier. Here we go. I knew you'd get, you'd get it, no loose screws here, I know. I'm like, ooh, I really don't wanna leave one undone. All right. That was a workout though. I think I'm definitely gonna have to come up with a template for the class. So everybody can do it with no problems. Oh yeah, look how awesome this self-adhesive interfacing is for covering up stuff. That's awesome. All right, next one, wish me luck, here we go. First, I think I'm gonna try and poke them all through first. Second. Third, ooh, these ones are going through a lot easier except for that bottom one. So I'm gonna do the top three first and get those all in and then we will work on the bottom. Perfect. I mean, the, yeah, Charlie, the connectors are amazing, I agree. Not my favorite install but sometimes it's just worth it. 
There's the first one. I know. Annette, I'm totally sweating right now. <laughs> uh, it's a workout. All right, so, ooh, there's my last hole right there. I can do it. Hi, Brenda. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Where's the hole for this one? Come on, where are you at? Where are you at? Over here. Is that it? Yes. Got it. Okay. It was just a tiny bit off, but we did it. Okay. Connectors on. I will cover this one up. And we will go to our lining. Cool. Doo doo. And ta da! -da. Those are pretty. Yeah, this uh, screwdriver, again, I have no idea where I got it, but it is magnetic and it works for all these screws so perfectly. I do love it. All right, done. Uh, if you press the connector onto your Decaville imprint where the hole needs to be. Oh, that's a good idea. Yep. I am just going to slightly do my curves with these. Not a ton, just a tiny bit. That'll make a difference when we turn it. I'm not cu cutting through my two rows of stitching, just my basting stitch. All right, there's my exterior. Move on to the lining. This one should go a lot quicker. Right, right, Oakley. I wanna turn on my iron real quick. Here we go. We definitely are a collective brain. <laughs> yup, someone needs to add them to their sites. Hint, hint. <laughs> Which one? The, those connectors? Yeah, they're super cute. Um, I think maybe, maybe Sandra has them on her site. I'm not sure. Look at that. She already has that all marked out for my zipper. Perfect. This is my pocket, my slip pocket down here. Let's do slip pocket first because that always goes quick. All we have to do is fold it in half, top stitch, and then add it to our bag. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's do it. Will you be doing faux piping in the class? Brooke, yes. She's gonna have the choice of us using that piping that I used um, at the beginning or just a strip of vinyl. So yes, one of the two. All right, let's just directly put our pocket on. This is my favorite type of slip pocket, super simple. Don't have to worry about turning it through or anything, the best. All right. I am gonna mark my center real quick. Where are we at here? Okay, right here. 
that is my center. Beautiful. Let's sew this on. All right, inside pocket done. Easy. We got that. I need to trim it down just a little bit. I didn't catch it right there. Just clipping my center top and bottom real quick for assembling it with the gusset. All right, let's do our zipper pocket. Kaboom. Where's your class going to be? It's going to be at the Garner Sewing Room in, is it considered Garner or is it considered Nora uh, Raleigh? I'm not sure. I don't know where I'm going. Susan made all the plan, travel plans, so she'll get me there <laughs> uh, one way or the other. All right, how far down? Hmm. We're just going to eyeball it, I think. It doesn't need to be specific. That looks good. There we go. Do we leave the pocket open? That is the question. Yes, pocket is left open, okay. Will you be teaching a class on this bag that you are making now? Yes, this is the bag we are making in the class this weekend. This is one of the kit choices. As well. All right, there it is. I'm gonna do my pocket just a little different than she has in the pattern. Just the assembly of it. I'm just gonna do my easy way. welcome you're good we're just having a little fun today sewing up this bag all right so there is my zipper all open I think my iron is heated I'm gonna take it over real quick I'm gonna press this oh I'm so sorry Oakley Oakley's like excuse me <laughs> All right, here it is. This is my beautiful ironing setup. <laughs> it's so fancy. <laughs> I need to go through and just clean some stuff. 
I haven't done cleanup after my last couple projects, which I usually do, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna press this back. Takes me a minute. Oh, thank you, Brenda. That's very nice of you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I like to put a Teflon sheet over this just because we have that canvas and it's uh, waterproof, so it's got that covering on it and you don't wanna melt it. Give it a good press. I like to put my wood block on it. I'm gonna flip it over and do it from the other side too. Make double sure that it's nice and pressed in there. This wool mat here is from Amazon and was one of the best purchases I have made. I love it. I never have to get out like a big ironing board when I'm over here. It's just this little wool mat and it works great for bag making because you don't really need a whole big ironing setup, right? All right, beautiful. Let's go back. All right, so I have my zipper and my zipper pull. Ooh, that's a cute little zipper pull. And where's my tape? My tape. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Or hi. Is Kathy over in? Hi from Katy, Texas. Hi, Kathy from Katy, Texas. Welcome. I like my mat, but the heat and steam go through it, so I have to be careful where I use it. Oh, yeah. I don't really use steam with my iron much. Usually just heat, so it doesn't, it's not an issue for me. And it's just an Ikea table. It's nothing fancy, so I don't have to worry about that part either. All right. Wood block. It just absorbs the heat, I think and helps it, I don't know, it's like a pressing block. Have you heard of a pressing block? It just helps, I don't know. I don't know why, I don't know the science behind it. <laughs> it just does. Oh, I just wanna fix this one little spot here. Okay, here we go. I want my zipper going left to right. I will have to trim it down. It's a little bit longer, which is fabulous. Gives us a little bit of um, wiggle room for this. Here we go. I just put a silicone sheet like for baking under the wool mat. Oh, great idea. Heidi, Heidi's just got all the good ideas. I tell you what, that Heidi, she's a smart one. <clears throat> Maybe I'll have to do that on mine. Okay, do, 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 do. There it is, all in there. Super cute. Okay, I'm gonna sew around that. Here we go. I like to start down here. It's called a clapper, the wooden block. It's often used for garment making to get crisp, nice folds. Thank you. Mine's just this wood block that I had. It's not anything official, but it works great for making everything nice and flat after I iron it. I 
I know we've talked about it before on one of my lives, hold on. Pretty sure it was recent too. uneven right there. Just a minute. There we go. that I'm going to add the other piece and I am going to fold up my bottom about a fourth of an inch here we go And that I'm so glad. That's awesome. She says, I'm learning so much from the chat today. That makes me happy. I know, Lisa, I love the pink and brown together too. It's really pretty, huh? All right. Let's go. We're leaving the bottom opened. I'm debating if I want to do the lining open too. I think I will. I think I'm going to do both open. Okay, your tutorials are great. And I know I wouldn't have attempted making bags if I hadn't watched you. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. That's why I started. Christina, I wanted to say your thread is game changing. I messaged you about what color is best with natural cork. You answered so quick and shipped quick too. It's the best thread I have ever used. I'm, that's awesome. I'm glad you're loving it. I enjoy it as well. And I'm glad that other people think it's as good as I do. I was just warning Missy today. We're getting like 30 boxes of restock soon. So we got to be prepared for that. Hi from Central PA. Happy to catch a live. Think I'll go sew and watch a live. Yay, Anne. Welcome. All right. There is my zipper pocket. I'm going to just trim down this zipper tape and melt my edges. We don't want to leave that to unravel. So make sure you melt that. And now we're going to assemble the gusset of the lining. Okay, here we are. I'm going to just clip my centers on this. We're in the home stretch. Haha. Ha. Susan would hate me if I said that. Okay, gotta go for a meeting. We'll pick up later. We'll see you later. Thanks for joining. All right, so this, I'm pretty sure, just a second. Mm -mm -mm. Are we doing a bigger seam allowance or not? Start and then increase, yep. All right, we're doing a bigger seam allowance as we go through. And I am gonna leave the bottom open because we're gonna do the double, double duty pull through. Is that the bag and fabric for Saturday? Gypsy Woman, this is one of the three choices 
of the materials for Saturday's class and Sunday's class. And yes, this is the pattern. So this will be the pattern we're doing. So is Missy officially a Saya Swag employee? Yes, she is, Alexis. She is totally official. Right, Missy? Uh -huh. <laughs> She's all, don't talk to me. <laughs> they asked if you're an official employee of Saya Swag. She is. <laughs> oh. All right. Yep, I may st start forcing her to travel with me. So you guys might meet her someday. Okay. And then I need to put my curves here. Annette, you can force me to travel with you anytime. Annette, you know I love you as a traveling partner. Deal. Deal, deal. We all need to go to Hawaii for sewing the states. <laughs> I think that is going to be a company trip. where you could get a few puckers because just waterproof canvas is a little bit more difficult to sew around curves but it's just your lining don't crazily worry about it too much and this is going to be right in my seam I'm not liking that I'm going to trim this down just a tiny bit Oof. I think we need to make that zipper just a little bit smaller all right, here we go. Should I bring one of my bag tags to put on the bag Saturday? Absolutely, Jen. Please do. Definitely need cute tags for the bag that you're making. All right, here we go. come off right there for my turn hole. I've never taken a class like this before. Oh, Jen, I hope you love it. I hope it is fun. I'm bringing cake for us to celebrate my birthday. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. I'll have Susan bring an instrument and I have my kazoo. <laughs> we can play you happy birthday. <laughs> Missy and I got kazoos the other night at a place that we were at. I don't even know why they gave us kazoos. I guess the band was playing or something. I don't know. But now it's just permanently in my purse. So I shall play you the kazoo. Mm Oh, I usually leave my opening on the other side, but it'll be okay. 
It'll be okay. Let's add on our other side. And then we'll add the two together. Yay! Ugh. Ouch. It hurts when clips break in your hand. It actually hurts. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Um, Sandra, if you're on here, my sister was asking what type of tools she'll need to bring. She wasn't sure what was going to be provided. I don't know if you could tell all of us on here that are attending what type of tools and extra stuff we'll need to bring for the class. That'd be helpful. That'd be awesome. You may have it on the website somewhere or something, but <clears throat> I wasn't sure. Workers comp. <laughs> Uh, I have so much learned so much from watching your tutorials. I'm making the, or I don't know that one. Watching the tutorial, I might, I must have made it. Um, by Shambhala. Yay! I'm so glad. I love Shambhala bags. Those are fun patterns, so well written, and their pieces go together so nicely. Definitely winners. She has every, you have everything. All right, very cool. I'll let Susan know. She was stressing. All right. All right, here we go. Can we buy the purse kit if we can't make the class? Ida, I'm not sure if she'll have extra, I know she'll have them in like actual fabrics. I don't know if she'll have class kits. I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. We'll have extras on the website by Monday afternoon. Super cool. Time to put the two together. Let's do it. I'm just gonna trim my curves here and my curves here. The more I get to know you, the more I do know you're a beautiful person and such a patient lady. Aw, thanks, Denise. Can we purchase da, 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 extra of the vinyls from the kits? I'd like to get some to make a matching wallet set. What a good idea. That'd be fun. Hi, Sheila. Welcome. All right. Here we go. I am a mess. All right. We're going to put the two layers together. We're there. Okay, do, do, do. And I want to, so I have this opening and I have this opening. Whoops, two openings here. Got threads in my, okay. Um, I actually, I don't know if one's bigger than the other or not. 
So we'll see. So we want to put our lining into our exterior. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry, just a minute. It's going to pass. <coughs> All right, excuse me. I want my zipper pocket to be on the back side of the bag. So I'm going to make sure I put it in that way. All right. And then you just wanna match up all of your seams. I'm gonna lay mine flat. I think that would be the easiest. I usually like to lay them flat. That seems to be the best for thickness as well when you're sewing it. So just find all those seams first, line those up, clip them up, and then we'll do the rest. And let me see, what's our seam allowance? Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I need ideas for, I have a book that I'm reading, which is fine, um, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of airport waiting and I need a couple good shows to start. Do you guys have any good recommendations for shows? I feel like, Nothing is standing out to me lately and there's nothing I want to watch and I really would like to watch a new show. So if you have any good suggestions, let me hear them. You, if you birth through the bottom, then the pocket, you'll save the zipper in the pocket for a lot of stress. Yeah. And I just like the, usually when you leave a hole in the bottom of your lining, it's bigger than what you could do in the pocket too. And you're right. The stress on the pocket isn't there. And then you can close up your lining nicely and you don't have that weird seam in your lining, all those things. So I will do it that way. Oh guys, I think this is gonna be really, really cute. I'm excited. What kind of genre do you like? Um, I like a little bit of everything. I'm, I like reality, I like action, I like Mm, a little bit of sci-fi-ish stuff, comedy. I, I like everything. I'm not a big, well, I like drama, but um, yeah, I like a little bit of everything. Here we go. Only Murders in the Building. Terry, I did start that one. I couldn't get it into it as much as I would like. Maybe I should give that another try. Ooh, I haven't done Witcher. I haven't done that one. I've heard that one's really good. I think Missy really likes Witcher. Maybe I'll try that one. Is there anything comparable to Decaville? Light and heavy, if those are not available. Um, Kelly, there's so many different interfacings now. <laughs> yes, there is. Um, depends on which company. Like there's so many different companies with so many different interfacings now you definitely could find a comparison. You've been watching New Heart on Amazon. Oh, that's awesome. I started watching um, Modern Family again for the 10 millionth time last night because I needed something to watch and Charlotte actually really enjoys Modern Family as well. So we watched a few episodes of that last night. Ooh, these are all really good suggestions. <sighs> Reservation dog. I haven't, I haven't done that one. Good. What else? Lincoln Lawyer. Bosch Swarm. Witcher's the best. I might try Witcher. Yellowstone, Jen. I actually, you know what? I need to finish Yellowstone. I haven't finished watching this last season. I was watching it with my sister-in-law and then we got distracted and didn't finish. Well, maybe she did, but I didn't. So I could finish Yellowstone. Shit's Creek. Oh, Kathy, I have watched Shit's Creek probably 20 times over. I just started that the other day too while I was sewing. <laughs> 
That is always a winner in my book. That's a good one when I'm working on projects because I can just listen to it and laugh. That and Santa Clarita Diet. I freaking love those two shows. Brenda, we've been watching movies that startle me and make me scream. I just don't scream, but totally empty my lungs. <laughs> That's funny. I am not a fan of scary movies usually. I'll watch them, but I just don't do well with them. I'm going to go one more time around like I did with the exterior vinyls. Lucifer is a great show. I haven't tried that one. Ozark, I've done, Mary. Love Ozark. Charmed. Ooh, that's a good one. Mozart in the Jungle. <laughs> I'll have to ask Susan if she's seen that. That sounds like something she'd watch. Master Chef with Gordon Ramsay. Good, good. Oh, The Marvelous Miss Maisel. I've seen that one. Yeah. Do you think that'll work? It's not here yet still? It says like after, like almost closer to four. Okay. Yeah. Put it on the door. Yeah. Go for it. That's so silly. So Missy ordered something from Amazon and they're requiring us to give them a passcode when they drop it off. Have you guys ever heard of that before? I have never had to do that with an Amazon order before. We think it's just so weird. White Lotus, Karen, I've done that, love it. Ooh, these are all really good. All right, I've got some ideas now. Right, Melissa? I've never heard of that either for an Amazon order. We think it's super strange. A secret passcode. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a bigger item. It's like this couch thing. I don't know. It's not a scam. It's directly from Amazon. It's all official. I believe it. It's just really weird. Yeah, they emailed it to us. So Jadir's done it before. If you like to laugh, Evan no. Nokich, Stephanie Plum novel. Okay. All right, here we go. Creativity, fashion glow. Ooh, I've been wanting to watch drag, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race too. Maybe I'll start that too. when we do this for the class, we're going to try and do it the other way so we don't have to do all this pulling through. I know, Melissa. I don't know, you guys. Super weird, right? Maybe it's like the company that it's coming from requires it. I don't know. We're putting a sticky note on the door, so <laughs> hopefully that works. I don't know. Because we're afraid we're not going to be home. All right. Ooh, it's looking cute. cleaning your sewing studio for three days. It was so bad. I don't have room for all my materials, but can't stop buying. Melissa, you and I both. That's why I did scrap packs. I had to get rid of so much stuff. 
and my room feels so much better now that I did that. Oh, this is such a cute bag, you guys. Oh, I hope everybody loves it. All right, I'm just gonna kinda close her up. Hopefully I, oh yeah. Line that up okay. Ah, so cute, look at that. Isn't she pretty? Oh my goodness, that's so adorable. I love it so much. All right, we're going to um, close up our lining and our pocket and do some top stitching and all of that kind of good stuff. So let's do it. Love it. The bright pink is adorable. That's so good. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do some top stitching first. All right, I like to kind of roll and get that in there. So cute, love it. I need to get my hand in there real quick. Again, this isn't the only color option for the class. There are three different color options that you can pick from. So don't, if you don't like this pink, that is fine. Not everybody is a fan of pink. There are two other choices. All right. I will probably have this as a raffle for my Patreon when the class is done. All right, so let's top stitch this and then we'll close it up. It is really cute, guys. The pink actually like goes really well with this. I kind of love it. But I am a big fan of pink. So if you're not a big fan of pink, that's fine. It's fine. Um, all right. I'm just debating if I should top stitch it. I think I'm gonna top stitch it this way. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you guys. Yeah, these connectors are super cool. I would suggest coming up, we need to come up with some sort of template though for install. That would make it a lot easier. Yes, Gypsy Woman, it is, whoop, it is so loud and it's amazing. I don't know how like it looks on camera compared to what it looks in person, but it's really cool.
top stitched. Beautiful, looks good. All right, let's close up our pockets, our, our lining and our pocket. So I'm gonna pull my lining. Here we are. So I'm gonna close up my lining right here first and then we will close up our pocket and then all that's left is our strap. And I'm not sure how exactly I wanna add that yet. We've got rivets, which is awesome. All right, here we go. Closed. pocket out here. Close this up. One thing I love about sewing with non-cotton material is that you don't have to deal with it unraveling and shedding like cotton. Drives me crazy. I'm just spoiled. about there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that turned out so cute, guys. Look at that little thing. Oh, she's cute. All right. So I um let's see. Yeah, I usually do swivel clips as well. I'm like, how do you even add this without swivel clips? I've got to think about this. <laughs> so, you got to put this on first, right? And then we gotta go, let me think about this. Up and down here. And then we come over here, because we still want it adjustable. Yeah, and then we go through here, and then up and over, right? Am I thinking of this right? I think so up and over just like that and so you're still adjustable you're all attached yes that's how we want to do it okay here we go and we do have rivets should we just rivet this on i think we're just going to rivet it on let's do it let's do it let me get my tools. <sighs> Pammy, you have me hooked on Wonderground Nylon now. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Right? It's kind of the best. I do love it. All right, let's 
get this. I don't think you need more than one. It's not really a big, heavy bag. I think one rivet will do it. Beautiful. Looks good. All right, and now we just need to put in this one. Which I think about right there should be great. Right there and right there. Okay. If you're coming to the class and you don't want to attach this directly on the bag, then just grab a couple of three-fourths inch swivel clips with you. Or maybe Sandra has them in the classroom, her store area, I'm not sure. That is an option as well. All right. Guys, we just did it. What time is it? A little over two hours. Not bad because I was trying to, I was just trying to work it all out. First time I've um, taken out this kit. I'm a little behind schedule. I was supposed to sew it up a lot earlier than this, <clears throat> but life happens. Uh, <laughs> yeah, life happens. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys. How cute is that? Look at those connectors. Those are super cool. I like those a lot. You got your back slip pocket there. You could totally do a zipper pocket there if you wanted to. And then our inside. That's it. All right, Adam crossbody bag. If you guys haven't made this one, go check it out. It is really kind of a fun, quick make if you haven't done this one, especially if you leave off the piping and that extra strap along the bottom. Um, but I do love the strap and the piping along the whole body of it, but we had to simplify it for the class. So, you know, um, and those of you coming to the class this weekend, I'm super excited to meet you and hang out with you. So is Susan. We're really excited for this trip and yeah, you guys, thanks for watching and joining me and keeping me company while I sew this up and we'll See you all later. Um, have a good, what's today? Thursday, have a good Thursday. And I will post stuff about my trip and everything that happens this weekend on my Facebook and my Patreon. So stay tuned. Okay, bye guys.